it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel, The Sims 2 Let's Play Veronaville. And we're back with the Cap family. Regan and Cornwall. Sorry, I started this and I'm, like, eating cake. And it's so addicting, it's so sugary. Oh my god. Uh, but we're at round 10 of Veronaville. Uh, and we're here with Regan, who wants to go back to work today. Uh, she has a fear of missing work. So, she's gonna go ahead and hire a nanny. I mean, the Caps have always grown up with nannies. So, it's really not a surprise that she would uh, immediately have um, a nanny come in and take care of her daughter. But she is going to uh, change Portia's diaper because she's kicking up a huge fuss. Uh, and Cornwall does not want to deal with any of that. He's like, nope, that's not me. That is not me. Uh, they'll let him, I guess, yep, and uh, wash his face and stuff. But yeah, so they'll be going to work uh, shortly. This will be Regan's first day after maternity leave. So she's going to have a lot of catching up at work to do. Cornwall is hopefully going to get promoted really soon. Uh, yeah, just kind of waiting on that. And yeah, and then we're so low on money right now, so we really do need them to both go to work. Uh, they had the weekend off, and I had decorated their house. So, and that happened. But yeah, so we're going to cuddle Portia, and then put her in her crib, and um, take a shower. We do got to wait for the nanny to show up before we can go. So, the carpool, okay, she's right here, actually. And the carpool should be pulling up. Uh, and I guess we don't have time to shower, unfortunately. So we'll just put her in her crib, and off we go for our day. The nanny's here. We got Lisa Ying. who's going to be taking care of our baby princess, Borsha. Let's look at her. She's very excited. She's like, wow, look at this house. So many things I can steal. I see you. I see you. Okay, yes. Feed the baby. Don't put the baby on the floor. Okay, Portia seems to be doing okay right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip until they're home from work, so I will see you guys then. And welcome back, everyone. So, Cornwall and Regan are home, and Cornwall actually got promoted to president. Um, he's done very well, and Regan uh, did not get promoted, but she did bring home tons of money. Um, she's going to give Cornwall a kiss to congratulate him on his uh, promotion. She's very, very proud of him. Um, and now I can't remember, are you going to change her diaper one last time? Okay, I guess we will. Um, Cornwall doesn't even try. You know how, like, your sims usually, like, fight over the babies? He's not even trying to take care of her. Not even close. Um, but I actually don't remember when she ages up. I think it's tonight? But I can't remember. Um... So we're going to go ahead, cuddle, play with her. Regan missed her terribly all day long. She was in the back of her mind all day. She was wondering, how is my Portia doing? I hope she's okay. Um, I miss her. I miss holding her and all that stuff. You know, the motherly things. But Regan is a boss, literally. And so she got her work done. She did well today. Very well today. So they need one more friend to get promoted. Cornwall needs a whole bunch of skills and one more friend. So I'm going to have Regan um, call up a person. Um, we have this guy, uh, what's his name? Shea, like Shea Butter. And then I do want her to call up her um, Juliet and Tybalt and Hermia. Well, I guess no. Who she really wants to be close with. Not that she doesn't love Juliet and, um, her, she, it's not that she doesn't love them, but who is really important in this family is the head of the family, and that is Goneril Cap, and her children, and the heir to, or, well, the next in line for the head of the Cap family is actually Miranda, which, if you think about it, really, Miranda Cap, <laughs> she is not head of a family material she's not she doesn't have business ethic she's a makeup artist like there's all these things but 
we're gonna... Uh, so, anyways, Regan wants to really be close with Miranda and that side of the family. Um, okay, that guy's not even home. That's okay. We'll, we'll call somebody else. That's, that's what we'll do. We'll call up uh, Titania, who's now a witch. But we want to uh, be friends with the Summer Dreams because they're, you know, a new... Oh, it's a birthday tomorrow. Okay, well, we have tomorrow off, so we could definitely throw a party. Um, a party during the day and invite the family. I think that'd be nice. Okay, we're going to call Miranda Cap because uh, we have, like, barely any relationship with her. Uh, Cornwall finished his painting. So good job, buddy. How about you sell that for 28 whole simoleons? Uh, and we still need a friend. Although I'm not terribly concerned with that today. Uh, let's try calling us Shea. Oh, is Cornwall available to talk? He is. Debbie. Oh, this guy's here. Gordon Wallosenko. What are you doing to Portia? No, don't, don't touch Portia. Go to answer the phone. Uh, we'll put Portia back in her crib because this guy randomly took her out. And Cornwall's chatting with Debbie, or he was chatting with Debbie Cap. I wonder why she's calling him. It's very odd. Very odd indeed. We have this Rodney Jung guy that we could talk to and befriend. Oh, no, wait, we're already friends with him. Okay, let's just befriend uh, Gordon Wolosenko. Uh, we'll tell him a joke. Oh, we're already best friends with him. What? Okay, we'll just, uh, you know, share interests and such. Aw, uh, man, he doesn't count. Okay, well, we'll just keep our relationship up high uh, with him. Not a big deal, you know, not a big deal. Oh, what is she doing? Oh, she's giving financial counseling! Aww. There you go. 125 simoleons. That's good. That's good. We're gonna come watch TV. Uh, we're watching a movie, apparently, but that's cool. Wow, he actually wants to hold Portia and feed her a bottle? Aww. Cornwall. Aww, see, you can't ignore your princess. You adore her. Plus, she looks like him a lot. He has a... Jesus. That lightning. Goodness gracious. Uh, she has... Uh, well, he has gray eyes as well. So, uh, she looks a lot like him. Uh, and Regan, you know, she's having a good time. What time is it? It's 11 p.m. We'll probably... Uh, be getting ready for bed really soon. The one thing is that they both want to woohoo. Uh, oh my god, that was the movie. That was the movie. I was like, oh, the phone's ringing. Answer it. Uh, we're going to say goodbye to Gordon. And if this thunder could relax for two seconds, two seconds, that's all I really, really want. Uh, as we're going to come up here and we're going to woohoo. And then I'll have to turn this off. But yeah, we're gonna woohoo. Because that's what we want. She actually wants to sell a great novel, which be... Oh my god. Yes, you can. The bed is not in the way. You can so turn it off. There you go. Do you see how easy that was? There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and skip until tomorrow, so I will see you guys then. And good morning, everyone. So Regan and Cornwall are up early, as always, eating breakfast, and Regan's talking to Cornwall about the party for today. It's their daughter's one first year birthday. It's her first birthday, so Regan really, really wants to plan something big. There's going to be tons of toys and stuff. We have some simoleons, and Cornwall's just like, Okay, whatever. Like, <laughs> he doesn't really have too much of a say in this thing, but he's not terribly excited. My dog just barked randomly, which is not creepy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. It's going to be kind of a children's party, so we are going to be getting balloons. I'm not going to buy them quite yet. Uh, we'll go ahead and get a buffet table, I think. 
something pinky. Um, I want to move this bush. Actually, that's where the car is going to be. Uh, put this here. This here. And we're going to have like a kind of backyard, side yard <laughs> um, thing. There's going to be a... Uh, a bar too for the adults uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, this is like her uh, Portia's present corner like these these are all her birthday gifts so yeah a box of toys um, a bear, a creative thing, a charisma bunny, a drawing. I think that's all for now. Uh, I think the rest is just bars. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can get some toys up in her. Like something fun that everyone can do. Like this thing and we'll get a couple we'll get a swing and then uh, some balloons he's our party he's our party we're gonna have balloons or where yeah it's a part it's just like stuff thrown around uh, but all that stuff is going to have to fit up in her room, so I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. This house is starting to get really, really small. Um, so yeah, Regan's just preparing uh, for the party. She's coming out just to check out and everything. Cornwall's going to go ahead and um, just like chill out himself. He wants to uh, get his logic skill, uh, so he's going to come practice. Uh, some chess while Regan prepares everything. I know you're like, you're like, girl, you're like, girl, please. Uh, I guess we don't have seating for people. Can I buy a, is there like a picnic bench? Is that a thing that doesn't exist in this game? Uh, picnic tables do not exist, so we need to get actual, uh, actual dining tables. That's totally... Totally makes sense. Totally right. You are right. I was less right. Uh, okay, we'll grab a couple because we plan on inviting quite a bit of people. And uh, we're just going to use these chairs. They're not the most high end. But they don't have to be. They're on grass. They're on grass. There we go. Okay. So uh, hopefully Regan uh, doesn't get too tired by uh, the end of today. Uh, she is going to change into her everyday. I actually think we're going to plan her everyday outfit and that she's going to be in something a little uh, kind of more casual and a little more fun uh, than this. Like, uh, I don't own anything. Maybe put her in... jeans and this top. Splash of color. Honey, you're looking good. Okay, let's change her appearance really, really quickly. Boop. Okay. Uh, I just want to update her lipstick. Oh my god, she's so gorgeous. Oh, actually, the pink looks really cute on her. Um... I like that, actually. We're going to do that. Just lighten it up. It's springtime. Uh, you'll want to have some fun. Our maid should be coming around 10 o'clock. It's only uh, it's only 9. I'm going to have her actually go back to bed because she woke up at like 4 uh, taking care of Portia. So she'll sleep for a couple more uh, minettos. And then I'll have her wake up. And we're going to do, it'll be like a, as soon as the maid is pretty much done cleaning up, we'll go ahead and... Uh, Throw the party. 
Now, I know a lot of the teenagers won't be able to come or the kids. Okay, actually, no. It won't, it'll be at, like, 3.30 we'll do that. So, 3.30 is when the party's going to be. Um, we'll just grab some leftovers for now. And relax. Cornwall is working on his skills really hard. He's almost done his, or he's almost at his logic skills. So that's close. It's coming close. And we're just waiting for uh, 3.30 to roll around. Just waiting patiently. Huh? Who said that? Who said you guys heard that, right? You guys heard that, right? Okay. We're gonna grab a plate again. Porsche's crying. We're getting close to party time, so it's getting to crunch time. Oh my god, someone help the child. She's crying ever so much. There you go. Uh, Cornwall, no, you can leave the baby alone. Clean up all of this. Uh, and I just realized I need... Oh, it's 3.45. We're already late. <laughs> we need um, a table for the cake. There we go. Oops, sorry. No, not yet. Cake. Alrighty, so I'm going to have uh, Regan put Portia hit in her crib, and then she's going to come throw a birthday party and invite our family. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and invite, of course, Gonorill, uh and Miranda. They're the most important people. But on top of that, we'll be inviting Ariel, Desdemona, Genevieve Hal. Uh, we'll invite Ty Bolt and not even Juliet, yeah. Or Hermia. <laughs> We're not friends with any of them. Um, yeah, I guess that's all. Okay, so we're going to come out here and serve some food. Uh, let's see if we can... Um, oh, look, everyone showed up. Did you say... Not everyone can show up. What are you talking about? Okay, so I'm going to go and uh, bring Portia to the cake because everyone's here for her. If we could. Gonorill apparently picked her up. Oh my god, okay. Go hold Portia. She needs to wake up right now. She needs to wake up, so that's going to happen. These guys are already out here playing with the bingo. And we're going to bring Portia to the cake and age her up. I'm really excited to see her. I'm wondering what she, who she's going to look like. Oh my god, you're not even holding her. Oh my god, poor Portia. Poor Portia. Please hold your child. Why are you not holding your child? Why is she just strapped to your tummy like that? God, I love The Sims too. Oh my lord Jesus. Okay, I can't, oh, this isn't even a good spot. Apparently it's her fourth birthday. Oh, Portia's like, who are you? Who are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, I need a picture. Oh my god, look at this. She loves them. She loves her cousins. Oh my god, look how excited she is! Oh my god, and then back to not holding her. Oh! Okay. Portia just aged into a toddler. Okay, okay, okay. We're working on this. Okay, so she looks... Oh. <laughs> she her face frozen like that. Are we stuck? 
No, we're not available. There we go. Okay, so we can go ahead and have a uh, cake now, but if we look at Miss Portia, she's a cutie mc cutie face. Oh my god. Let's ask for attention. We seem to really like Mar uh, Ariel. So let's see if we can get her to uh, notice us. Oh. Aww. <gasps> She's tossing us in the air. That's so nice. Okay, we should make sure that we uh, we get to know each and every single one of our cousins. She's tossing us in the air a lot. That's so nice. We like her. We like her. Um, so let's get to know Miss Portia a little bit more. So if we take a look at her personality, she's extremely neat and very nice. Oh, that was the cutest thing. She gave us a geezy geez. Um, very neat and very nice and pretty uh, active, but she's shy and kind of serious. Um, I'm wondering her... Okay, Regan's super neat and also pretty active and is serious. And Cornwall is neat and active and serious. But neither of them are very nice. They're like kind of half, like more on the grouchy side. Regan's just like half and half. So I don't know where she gets this niceness from, but... Oh my goodness! We're going to be like best friends with her. Um, we want to ask her for attention, so you can put us down. Let's ask Desdemona for some attention. Um, ask Hal for attention, and ask Gonorill for attention. Oh, everyone's ignoring us, okay. Uh, what we need is, oh my god, Regan's in her bed. Change into your everyday darling. Okay, what I need to do is, unfortunately, move this laptop and its, uh, stuff. I may have to sell that. I don't know, but it has to go down here. It is not the final one. Do not judge me on that. Um, it is going to be changed. Don't you? I grabbed the wrong thing. I want this chair. Okay. And then all of her toys are going to go up here. So we're going to put, oh, she already has a toy box. Okay. We can delete that. <laughs> uh, let's put her uh, bear up here. Let's put her um, creative thing up here. Let's put her dollhouse up here. Um, and the rest I guess we sell for now, but we can keep those things in this thing. Um, I'm just deleting that for now. Uh, and then we need a... Oh, crap. This room is so teeny tiny. <laughs> Why does their closet have to come all the way in here? Why? Um, uh, if I do this... Can I, okay, we, I think the dollhouse has to go out here. And then the potty... Potty can go uh, I guess right there. So that's where that has to go. So we gotta potty train Miss Portia. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, so everyone's having a good time at the party. I guess Cornwall should maybe chat with Hal a little bit. Hal doesn't have too many uh, men people to chat with. The bed is not in the way. Y'all need to relax. Yeah, so we're going to potty train her and then we're going to take her into, um, change her appearance because I want to change up her hair. So we're going to change Portia's appearance and the party's done, so that's good. No, 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 Portia, honey. Portia. Uh, oh, she's a cutie. Okay, so I think we're going to do this hair. 
And I'm going to just fix her eyebrows real quick. Eyebrows. I can't t Does she look like Regan? She has a Regan's droopy eyes. For sure, she has Regan's droopy eyes. And kind of small lips. And she's dark-haired and gorgeous. I adore her. I really, I do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Give it a fat thumbs up and subscribe for more because I put out videos fairly regularly. Um, let me know what you guys think Regan and Cornwall's um, family is going to be like in the future. Uh, what do you think Portia is going to be like? Because she's n super nice, not at all like her parents. And, uh, yeah, like, and she's super nice. A lot of the caps are not very nice. So, uh, let me know what you guys think about that. And I love you guys so very much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>